Chicago with the commanding 3-1 lead. With coach Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg and David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. Mike Fratello, Michael Jordan and the Bulls, one game away from their first title. Kev, Chicago has won the last three games of the series. The Bulls have all the momentum. They have a speed and quickness advantage. Michael can taste that first title. And for the Lakers, their backs against the wall and without two of their starters. Those two guys are Byron Scott and James Worthy, Kevin, both out tonight. A devastating blow for the Lakers. So Magic Johnson will have to take on more of a load, figure out a way to ignite a stagnant, depleted Lakers offense. That is a gigantic challenge. And now we'll look at the Chicago Bulls. The MVP, Michael Jordan, is in the backcourt. Joined by sharpshooting John Paxson. Chicago's defensive stopper, Scottie Pippen, is in the small forward. Horace Grant is at the four. And the experienced veteran, Bill Cartwright, is at the center. And for the Lakers, Magic Johnson runs showtime. Terry Teagle and A.C. Green are in the lineup. Both injury replacements. Sam Perkins at the four can really shoot it. And Vladi Divac, the young, skilled five. The Lakers missing two starters, Byron Scott and James Worthy. They'll really rely heavily on two rookies, Tony Smith and Eldon Campbell. From deep, Jordan. Oh, you can just tell Jordan wants to bury the Lakers early. Wow, the rare deep ball from Jordan. Can't leave him open like that. Johnson outside. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And part for L.A., A.C. Green is going to have to be a very big part of their attack tonight. Kevin averaging just four points a game in these finals. A.C. was huge when the Lakers beat Portland in the Western Conference Finals. Brought a ton of energy. I think the Lakers need that version of him tonight. Oh, I would agree. So far, Clark, the leader in assists in the finals, not Magic Johnson. It's Michael Jordan facilitating. How about that, partner? I mean, he's been incredible, averaging about 12 assists per game. He's also been the leading scorer in each game as well. That's um, otherworld-like production. It is. Paxson passes to Kirk. Bulls moving the ball around. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan can taste that first title, and he wants to end it tonight. Jordan is smelling blood in the water, looking to end the series tonight. Johnson surveying the floor, lets it go from deep. Jordan with the rebound. I remember in game four, the last time out, the Lakers shot just 37% from the floor. Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan were monsters on the defensive end. Magic and the Lakers will need to execute better to have a shot tonight. 37% just is not going to get it done. The offensive rebound. Johnson outside. There's the pick. There's the pass to Teagle. No good with the triple. Chicago leading by five. Jackson with the ball. Evats picks him up. And here's Jordan outside. Green with the rebound. And so Green will bring it up for the Lakers. On the wing, Green. And so it's going to be a three-second violation out there in the defense. Game one of the finals, a bull boss, 18 combined points for Paxson, Bill Cartwright, Horace Grant. Games two through four, Mike, those three averaging 42 points a game. That trio... The other Bulls starters, their success is essential for Chicago. The Bulls need scoring outside of Pippen and Jordan. Clearly proven. No good from Campbell. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Four-point game. Short. Chicago is so focused out of the gates, trying to make it four in a row. I've got Michael Jordan on the injury watch list tonight. He's got a jammed toe. It's badly bruised, and you know how painful those can be, Coach. Extremely difficult to play through that kind of an injury. After playing through that toe injury in Game 4, Michael told us it didn't bother him then, and it won't bother him now. I think Jordan will be A-OK -okay tonight. Now, here's Jordan. 
13 points in the game. Pippen kicks to Grant. He dishes it to Jordan. Fires from deep. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. He is certainly a dominant player. Michael Jordan, when he's in the zone, unstoppable. Smith in the post. Jordan on him. Smith, no luck. To the wing on the left. Here's Purdue. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Boy, nice job that time by Purdue to get that one to fall. Good concentration through the contact. The Bulls shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for the Bulls. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. Big. Second quarter here in the 1991 NBA Finals, Game 5 with Mike Clark, D.A. This is Kevin Harlan. Michael Jordan and the Bulls trying to close it out tonight. The Bulls leading by 12. The leading scorer in each of the first four games of this series? Yeah, you guessed it, Michael Jordan. In the regular season, MJ led the NBA in scoring for the fifth straight year. Jordan cannot be stopped in this series. They've got Campbell. Magic Johnson is out there with Smith. Then there's D-Box, and it's Green in at the three spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. And for Jordan Clark, it's not just scoring in these finals. It sure isn't, Kevin. He's averaging almost 12 assists per game. In addition to his usual spectacular defense, and with a closeout game on the line, I expect a monster performance from Michael Jordan. And if the Bulls win, he will clearly be your finals MVP. Pass to Campbell. And Campbell throws it down. The Lakers pour from the field. And Clark, that has to change as this game goes on. Well, to me, it appears the Lakers have no answer, Kevin, for the defensive duo and prowess of Pippen and Jordan. These two Bulls are creating havoc. Jackson outside. Back to Jordan. Launches a three. And in this potential clincher, Jordan's so good at the start and looking for more. An effective point. Paxson moving the ball with conviction. To the paint. That is good. And the Bulls lead is cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Smith. The basis of our game is the pass. Sharing, being a great teammate. Paxson passes to Jordan. About a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Williams kicks to Pippen. Here's Jordan. And Jordan is cooking here in the second. You can tell he wants to end this series. Chicago's first trip to the finals, a franchise record 61 wins, and they have stormed through the playoffs, going 14 and 2 thus far. I don't think there's any question about it. This is certainly the best Bulls team ever. And here are the Bulls now. Well, the matchup of the series, Mike, as we see two time MVP Michael Jordan going up against three time MVP Magic Johnson. Again, as we can see, it's advantage MJ. The Bulls star has won that battle all series long. A huge reason the Bulls were in position to win the title tonight. And it has been entertaining. Let's hear from David Aldridge on the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Now the marquee matchup of Magic versus Michael has not disappointed. But what's surprising is that Jordan is actually averaging more assists than the assist king. Coming into this game, Jordan is averaging 11.8 assists per game compared to Magic's 10.5. Kevin, back to you. EA astounding numbers. Thanks for that report. And both stars, Clark, have played nearly every minute of this series. I mean, they've gone nonstop. Well, that's not surprising, Kevin. This is it. There's no time to rest. I mean, both guys know exactly how important each game is in this series, and that's why they're averaging the minutes they are, about 44 per game. You know, carrying that kind of load on both of their shoulders, you would think, my gosh, will they be brought down by the weight of that? Not these guys. They thrive in these situations, don't they? They really relish opportunities like this to compete at the highest level and see who can come out on top. That was the 2K drive. Is that move deserved another look? Trying to close this gap. 
always a good option to probe the paint and see if you can get an easy one inside. Growing up here in Englewood, Eldon Campbell has to be on cloud nine playing in the finals. The rookie was the Lakers' first-round pick this season. The Bulls really doing a good job providing constant pressure on the ball, suffocating the Lakers' offense. Fires from the wing. That one falls, coming off of Paxson's feed. Paxson's got three assists now in this one. And Eldon Kemp playing just six minutes, Clark, in the first four games of the final. Well, those minutes are about to go up in a big way due to injuries. He's a talented shot blocker. We know that about Campbell, and he's a hometown kid with a chance to perhaps play the hero's role here tonight. It'll be fun to follow him. Yep. Hey, the field goal percentages tell the full story. One team is playing more smart and efficient basketball. And the other, not so smart. They're playing too fast, not getting good looks, forcing things. Smith outside. He's looking for Devots and finds him. And it's Devots with the jam. Mike Chicago leading this series three games to one. A win away from an NBA title. Michael Jordan so close to that elusive first ring. Winning it all would take MJ's career to another level. Absolutely. Such a savvy distributor. Jordan's court awareness and understanding for when his guys are open is impressive. Here's Johnson. So in game four of finals worst, 37% shooting from the Lakers. And more of the same tonight. Jordan with it. Now Smith defending. Here's Paxson. That shot missing. Talking with L.A. coach Mike Dunleavy, he wanted the Lakers to limit Chicago's fast break chances. Slow them down. The Lakers are doing a nice job of that. Bulls leading by 16. Jordan kicks to Pippen. Over Green. Pippen misses. I don't think you can ask for a better look, just not the result they were looking for. Yeah, he's got to put that miss behind him and continue to fire away when he gets that kind of a look. And so it's Chicago in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. The sun is setting over Los Angeles and maybe the NBA season. This is Game 5 of the 1991 NBA Final. Second half here from Englewood. The Lakers looking to extend the series. Chicago wants it to end. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Winning an NBA title is the final hurdle for Michael Jordan. He's won MVPs, scoring titles. Even a Defensive Player of the Year award. But it's a team game. And winning this series is the last thing for Michael to accomplish. So for Chicago right now, they've got Pippen. Michael Jordan is out there with Paxson. Then there's Grant. And it's Cartwright in at the five spot. The Bulls leading by 17. Jordan on the wing. He has third, and the shot goes in. And an NBA title, the only thing missing for the great Michael Jordan, Clark. And Kevin, he's made some sacrifices, no doubt about it. As a young pro, I think sometimes Jordan tried to do it all himself. But MJ's game has continued to evolve, especially his passing. He's developed so much. Getting a ring is the final spoke in the wheel. The Lakers are struggling with their shots tonight, Clark. They just can't get into a group. Well, I think you've got to look at the opponent and give them some credit, you know. The duo of Pippen and Jordan, as good defensively as any in the NBA right now and maybe in the history of the league when you think about it. They've been terrific. Pass to Johnson. Passes it to Perkins. Shot clock at six. Here's Teagle. It's all in by the Bulls. Cartwright's got rebound number five here tonight. Good, and the assist goes to Jordan. Jordan's got six assists in the game. This Bulls offense is running through Michael Jordan, Mike Fratello, piling up assists once again. Phil Jackson wants Michael making the decision. The league MVP is so smart. Jordan is dictating this game. Every facet of this game, you're right. Paxson passes to Jordan. 
to Paxson. It's stolen by Debox. Paxson against Johnson. Green with a screen for Johnson. Unloads from 13. Here's Debox. Will Cartwright grabs the rebound. Cartwright's got six rebounds here tonight. The drive by Jordan. Here's Pippen. We have seen it over and over again in this series. Michael Jordan sharing the ball and involving his teammates on every play. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. Taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the D and made them pay. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. The pass to Johnson. Outside, Perkins. Divac, the pass to Johnson. Just five to shoot. Divac trying to free himself up. Pass to Teagle. Lobbed up there for Johnson. While Michael Jordan gets the headlines, and deservedly so, Scotty Pippen is the glue of this team. Excellent defensively, a great passer. Pippen does it all. It's Pippen on the win. Three-pointer on the way. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Jordan's got his eighth assist here tonight. Pippen's gone three for four from the four tonight. Well, Mike, all series long, we've been monitoring the battle of MVP. Magic Johnson against Michael Jordan. And as we can see, Jordan with the advantage tonight. And, Kev, it's been that way the entire finals. The Bulls have a three games to one advantage. A huge reason is Michael has outperformed Magic. And that one drops. And, Clark, when you think of Scottie Pippen, do you think he was an all-star snub this year? Absolutely, Kevin. No question about it. I mean, he's the second-best player on a 61-win team. Agreed. I'm wondering how he didn't make it. I mm -hmm. think we've seen Pippen make a statement during these playoffs. He's stuffing the stat sheet, averaging 21, 9 boards, and 6 assists. That's enough to stamp him as an elite player. Well, you make a great point. Hexen. He can't hit that time. And it's the Lakers the other way. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Johnson. Perkins with it. With his first shot attempt. Here is the jump shot. Perkins got his first basket of the night. And Perkins has a feel for when to take a quick shot. Nice work. There's 21 seconds left to play in the third. Jordan against Green. Here's Cartwright, and he uses the glass on the lane. Cartwright's got six points in the quarter. Jordan has destroyed the Lakers passing the rock in the finals. MJ showing he's become more than just a scorer. Johnson right side, and stolen by Jordan. No good on the shot. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Holding a 22-point lead as the quarter wraps up. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And the fourth quarter from Inglewood. NBA Finals Game 5. Kevin Harlan joined by Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge. Could this be the final period of hoops played this season? Over the last 11 seasons, five titles for the Lakers, nine trips to the NBA Finals. However, it feels like their time just might be up. L.A. has a roster that is getting older. Green is out there with Perkins. Then it's Magic Johnson. And it's Smith. And it's Campbell in at the center position. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Making the correct decision. Hodges with the assist. Clark, the state of this Lakers franchise, will they be dominant, you think, this decade? Kevin, it's going to be hard to sustain this level of excellence. I mean, Magic and Worthy getting older. This series, to me, feels like a changing of the guard in the midst. Campbell is screen on Hodges. They grab their own miss. Can't connect from short range. Mike, what about these passing numbers of Michael Jordan? I mean, absolutely fantastic. Sometimes it's hard to believe, Kev. Michael is controlling the ball, controlling the game. Jordan's willingness to give up the rock. 
It is a big reason the Bulls are close to the title. And that's a surprising time. Clark for an intentional foul. It sure is. I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, I'm not sure what he's trying to accomplish right there. But I'll tell you what, he better have a good reason for it or he's going to be seeing some extra pine time. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Thompson, he's checked in for Perkins. Thomas comes in for Green. And Drew's subbed in for Johnson. Thompson sets the pick for Thomas. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Well, the Bulls defense, Clark, has come to play again. Pippen and Jordan are relentless. They sure are. Seems like they never get tired, Kevin. I mean, they work so hard on that end of the floor. They've stifled this talented Lakers attack. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Adi Divac checked in for Thompson. And it's Johnson in for Drew. Wasted no time on that one. Purdue's got five points now in the quarter. Superb touch from Purdue. Proven he can sink the mid-range J. Smith on the wing. He's guarded by Hodges. Smith the pass to Divas. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Passes it to Purdue. It's rebounded by Campbell. And the defense wasn't horrible, but still, he's got to come through there. There wasn't enough resistance to prevent him from scoring that one. For Bulls coach Phil Jackson, the last time he won a title as a player, 1973, was also a game five in this building as a member of the Knicks. Yep, it counts. When it comes to distributing the ball, nobody does it better than Matt. When one of his guys has a clean look, the ball is there quickly and on target. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Armstrong passes to Hodges over Thomas. Hodges, that's good. And for Coach Bill Jackson, winning tonight would be full circle. 18 years ago, won a title on this floor. Remember, for years, Jackson was coaching internationally, toiling the minor league. Jackson earned his spot on an NBA bench and has proved Bulls management correct. He's done a wonderful job. Oh, you're so right. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Green is checked in for the Lakers. The Bulls also changing it up. Grant comes in for Will Purdue. And Pippen subbed in for Hodges. The Bulls leading by 21. Check BJ. Here's Armstrong. They get it again. Here's Grant. And the layup's good off the glass. That's where Grant is most active. That offensive glass does a nice job using his body to get the position he needs. Smith on the wing. He's defended by Jordan. And Smith gets double teamed. Campbell kicks to Johnson. Lakers passing it around. And Campbell throws it down. This is where you want Campbell to have the ball. Right at the rim. Campbell's gone three for seven tonight. Down low. And there's Grant on the assist by Pippen. Found a crease, took advantage, and got it in close. An edge to this lead. They're having their way. The Lakers on offense. Here's Johnson. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Johnson's got 19 points. Now you see him, now you don't. Magic with unlimited moves to get by you and score. Grant, that's good. I don't know what the heck the defense was thinking there. I mean... He's cast from this area of the floor, and they let him walk into it. Yeah, you got to show more fight on defense. This isn't the guy you give room to shoot from the mid-range. Count it. Devontz has got four points this quarter. Perfect pass there. Understanding how to set up his teammate. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it inbounds that time. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. They're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time defense. Hey, 
Now off the inbound. And it's Smith missing. Chicago leading by 21. Feeds to Grant. And the dunk by Grant. And this run has helped seal the win. Give them credit for executing down the stretch. Nice work. So it's the Lakers now. On the wing, Johnson. He's covered by Armstrong. The 15-footer. Good. We always talk about the passing of magic. When his team needs it, Johnson can score it. And here's Jordan outside. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Smith on the wing. Defended by Pippen. Here's Devots. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Grant dishes to Pippen. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Armstrong. Johnson with the block. Tell you what, the long arms and great wingspan of Johnson well used and suited for the shot tonight. And that pass just got away from him. Well off his target. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls have done it. For the first time, Mike Fratello, the Bulls are world champion. Michael Jordan has answered the doubters. He can lead a team to a title. This has to be extra sweet for Michael. And for the Bulls, Clark Kellogg, this is a long time coming. Tremendous job by this entire organization.